Saturn 1, 1B, quarterly film report number 22, covers progress during the period October, November, December, 1964. At Marshall, on October 6th, static firing of the booster for the 10th flight vehicle, S-110, concluded the highly successful S-1 booster static test program. During this test program, from April 29, 1960 to October 6, 1964, a total of 24 firings was conducted, accumulating 1,885 seconds of flight stage firing. Following completion of its static firing, S-110 was prepared for shipment to Michoud for post-static checkout. It left Marshall on November 3rd and arrived at Michoud November 7th. At Michoud, Chrysler started preparing S-110 for post-static checkout. The work included installation of flight components and instrumentation, as well as stage modification and repair. Early this quarter, S-19 completed post-static checkout at Marshall's Quality Laboratory. The stage and SIU-9 were then shipped to Cape Kennedy by barge on October 19th. During rough seas in transit, instrumentation indicated high G-forces on the stage, which warranted inspection. No damage was revealed. Eleven days later, S-19 arrived at KSC. Following receiving inspection, the stage was erected on the pad November 3rd. At the SACTO test facility, Douglas completed all phases of S-49 testing and final inspection. The stage was stored temporarily until October 21st, when it was flown to Cape Kennedy, arriving October 22nd. The stage was transported to hangar AF and hangar checkout was begun. Following application of a special heat-resisting paint, the stage was erected on the pad November 19th. The purpose of the paint is to prevent thermal damage to the Pegasus spacecraft during flight. The same paint was applied to the instrument unit. On November 19th, upon completion of the paint curing process, SIU-9 was also erected. Launch vehicle pre-flight checkout is proceeding on schedule. The spacecraft service module and adapter for SA-9 arrived at the Cape on November 13th and was transported to hangar AF. Here, the service module is being checked out for flight. This includes checking of Pegasus mounting pads for alignment. The command module was shipped to Cape Kennedy last quarter. Fairchild Hiller completed fabrication of Pegasus A for SA-9 at Hagerstown, Maryland early this quarter. Following assembly and functional tests, the unit was then shipped to General Electric, Valley Forge, Pennsylvania in December. There, it was subjected to low-level vibration and shake tests. Later, the unit was moved into a vacuum test chamber for systems checkout and electric component testing. Following satisfactory testing, the spacecraft was packaged and shipped to Cape Kennedy December 29th. It was taken to Hangar D, where checkout has begun. Meanwhile, at Marshall's Michoud operations, Chrysler completed post-static checkout of S-18 on December 22nd. By the end of December, the stage was being prepared for shipment to Cape Kennedy next report period. Early this report period at SACTO, S-48 static firing preparation started. On November 20th, the stage was successfully fired for a period of 476 seconds. At Santa Monica, S-410 simulated flight tests were completed in mid-October and stage modifications were begun. Following modifications, the stage was shipped to SACTO. This marks the completion of S-4 manufacturing by Douglas. S-410 was installed in test stand 2B on December 5th. Static firing is scheduled for January 20th. Checkout of the instrument unit for the night flight vehicle SIU-8 located at Marshall's Quality and Reliability Assurance Laboratory, began October 28th and continued through December. Checkout of components is expected to continue as scheduled with completion of tests due in January. Also at Marshall, SIU-10 component installation, begun last quarter, is continuing as scheduled. At the Fairchild Hiller facility, Hagerstown, Maryland, the Pegasus prototype was used to prove out minor circuit changes prior to incorporation in Pegasus A. Next quarter,
The prototype will be shipped to General Electric, Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, for functional testing. Sheldahl, Northfield, Minnesota, has successfully bonded acceptable detector panels. All the required panels were delivered to Fairchild on November 30th, following successful completion of qualification tests. Structural component assembly on Pegasus B and C is underway at the Fairchild Hiller facility. Fabrication of black boxes for both satellites is on schedule. Installation of flight systems is expected next quarter. At Marshall's Michoud operations, functional checkout of the S-1B dynamic stage was completed in mid-December. By December 22nd, the stage was ready for shipment from Chrysler Michoud to MSFC for use in dynamic testing of the Saturn 1B vehicle configuration. Meanwhile, at DAC's Huntington Beach facility, assembly and checkout of the S-4B dynamic stage was completed early this quarter. During November, the stage was prepared for shipment to Marshall. On December 9th, the stage left the West Coast aboard an ocean freighter, arriving at New Orleans December 21st. At New Orleans, the stage was transferred to a river barge and departed for MSFC with the barge carrying the S-1B dynamic stage. The dynamic test stages were unloaded at Marshall 13 days later. During the same time period, MSFC completed assembly of the dynamic test instrument unit structure from segments fabricated by General Dynamics, Fort Worth, Texas. Following installation of dummy components, the unit will be mated to the S-4B dynamic stage in the test stand. Testing will start next quarter. The delivery of the Saturn 1B dynamic test vehicle to MSFC indicates the significant progress of the Saturn 1B program. At Michoud, Chrysler completed assembly operations on the S-1B-1 first flight stage early this quarter. Pre-static checkout operations of the stage are now well underway with mechanical testing and measurement calibrations progressing as scheduled. S-1B-2 tank clustering was completed during October. Other assembly operations continued throughout the quarter and are scheduled for completion during the next report period. S-1B-3 tail section assembly was completed and buildup of the stage's spider beam began during the quarter. Stage fabrication is expected to be completed early next quarter and will be followed by tank clustering. Fabrication operations are underway for S-1B-4. Buildup of the upper and lower thrust ring began in late October. Tank clustering is scheduled for late March. At DAC's Sacramento test area, preparations for the first S-4B battleship hot firing continued through October. Routine hardware and equipment checks were made, followed by successful J-2 engine thrust chamber chill-down tests. On November 7th, the first hot firing was cut off prior to main stage by a gas generator over temperature command. On November 24th, a second firing of the stage resulted in a successful test of one second duration. On December 1st, a third firing lasting 10 seconds was performed. On December 23rd, a 416 second firing was highly successful. Static tests will continue next quarter. Engine chill down, propellant utilization, and engine gimballing tests will also be conducted. At SACTO's Gamma Complex, a series of single and multiple attitude control engines first phase development firings was successfully conducted in October. Also at Sacramento, Douglas continued installation of ground support equipment and necessary instrumentation on beta test stand number three. When the stand is completed, the S-4B facilities checkout stage will be installed for propellant loading tests scheduled to start in early March. Cleaning and installation of the facilities checkout stage at Huntington Beach is now complete. Douglas will use the stage for facilities checkout at Cape Kennedy after propellant loading tests. Components from the original facilities checkout stage have been reallocated as an S-4B sectional mock-up. The stage will be shipped to Marshall for use on an overall Saturn 1B simulator. At the Air Research Facility in Phoenix, Arizona, pressure testing of S-4B propellant loading flexible hoses to failure was conducted this quarter for Douglas. At Douglas's Santa Monica and Huntington Beach facilities, 
Fabrication and assembly of S-4B-1B flight stages is also well underway. At Huntington Beach, tank insulation of the S-4B-1B-1 first flight stage was completed this quarter. Work was also underway at the end of the quarter on installation of electrical and mechanical systems on the stage. Application of liquid hydrogen tank insulation on S-4B-1B-2 was completed in mid-December. Fabrication and assembly of the propellant tanks and thrust structures for S-4B-1B-3 and 1B-4 continued during this quarter. Tank insulation for both of the stages is scheduled to begin next quarter. At Rocketdyne's Santa Susana test facility, J-2 engine preliminary flight rating tests were successfully completed this quarter with 18 starts and 2,351 seconds of firing time. R&D engine O-15 FRT configuration accumulated 40 starts and 4,063 seconds, including three full duration 500 second firings. Evaluation of start condition limits on this engine indicates no problems with the start sequence. The J-2 engine's restart capability was demonstrated during the report period. An engine was fired for 165 seconds, shut down for 75 minutes, restarted, and run for 310 seconds. At Santa Susana, vertical test stand 3A is closed for renovation. Accessory improvements are expected to provide better engine start conditions and more effective altitude simulation for flight rating. The stand will be reactivated in January 1965. As a result of a J-2 engine gas generator explosion last quarter, Rocketdyne built a pneumatic control system mock-up, including the gas generator, to evaluate the problem and determine a solution. The J-2 engine gas generator valve case was connected to the control pressure point, then tested. Analysis of test data indicated that this method of assembly would be successful in preventing an explosion. During this quarter at Rocketdyne, Flame resistance testing of the connector for the flexible armored harness used for all J2 electrical control and instrumentation wiring was conducted. In this test, the system withstood a time and temperature rate of six and one half minutes and 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which exceeds normal requirements. At MSFC, construction of the J2 engine test facility is virtually complete. Beneficial use of the facility is expected in January. Vibration testing for evaluation of instrument unit cold plates manufactured by four vendors, Avco, North American, Solar Aircraft, and Aranka, continued at MSFC during this period. Vendor selection will be made following completion of evaluation testing. Manufacture of the instrument unit to be used for vibration testing is now complete. The unit was shipped November 30th to the test site at Wiley Laboratories, Huntsville, Alabama. Preparation of test facilities is continuing and vibration testing is scheduled to start next quarter. Negotiations of the Saturn 1B5 instrument unit mission contract is continuing with international business machines. IBM personnel are currently at work in the Huntsville facility. One of the activities in which IBM is participating is preparation for the flight systems test program a thermal vacuum test of the entire IU under simulated spaceflight conditions to be performed in an environmental chamber at Douglas Aircraft's Huntington Beach facility. To reduce costly duplication of testing facilities, special test equipment, which will be required both at Huntsville and Huntington Beach, is being installed in trailers, which can be air transported between these locations. IBM personnel performed a circuitry analysis of the IU's remote digital sub-multiplexer. Breadboard circuit modules, which duplicate production hardware in component utilization and location, are tested in a temperature chamber to detect possible circuit malfunctions resulting from component tolerance accumulations. Also in progress this quarter were design evaluation studies on a newly designed channel unit for the IU telemetry system. Experience gained in all these operations is expected to find valuable applications as IBM phases into complete responsibility for a mission-qualified Saturn 1B5 instrument unit. At MSFC, 
Installation of equipment for the Saturn 1B system development breadboard facility continued. The facility will be used for checkout of vehicle hardware and ground computer programs. The first Saturn 1B test was performed recently to verify the compatibility of the ground support equipment and associated vehicle systems with the ST-124 stabilized platform. In summary, October, November, and December were months of noticeable achievements in the Saturn I and Saturn 1B programs. SA-9 was being readied for its operational flight. A significant highlight was the successful long-duration hot firing of the S-4B battleship stage. J-2 engine hot firings were highly successful. Accomplishments in the Saturn I program have broadened the outlook for an equally successful series of events for Saturn 1B.